Greetings viewers, this is CP666 signing on with an OSHIB, very rare brand of laptop, for your viewing pleasure. And as you can see, it is in absolutely dreadful condition. But here is a Toshiba Portage 7020CT. This is not the one that I had up until a couple of years ago. I still have it. It's sitting in here right now, and my plan is eventually to swap parts off of that onto this. In particular, this back panel is, I'm just going to get rid of it because it's it's trashed. Um, but uh, the idea here, this system is parts machine. It's not in the best of condition ever. I mean, it's not terrible, but there are certainly, well, actually, I shouldn't say that because the top panel is terrible, but uh, the rest of it isn't too bad, I suppose. I mean, the modem is still intact. And, I mean, there's a ding here. There's a ding up there. I don't know how that happened. But uh, the fan's intact. It's missing the battery and the hard drive and the caddy, which is one of the more disappointing things about this because that makes it useless, unless I actually had the parts. I think one of the one of these hinges is broken. Perhaps both of them are. I think it was this one over here. This little plastic thing over the hinge is busted. But otherwise, I mean, it's missing this little door here, but otherwise it's okay. There's a little USB port. It's got these. Um, I think it's missing a beauty plug over that. But uh, if we go ahead and open it, you can see that uh, the ugliness is only skin deep here. I can actually get it to open. It's a little too light for this. Come on. And the interior is actually in surprisingly good condition. I mean, if you look at the display, it's not broken or uh, damaged really in any way. Although the listing did say that it was damaged. So I predict there's probably like a, a vertical line down it if I remember what the picture looked like, but offhand I don't. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if it survived the trek, even though I see no reason why it would not have. I'm going to go ahead and we'll plug it in here, if we can. Come on. And we'll see what happens. we got a little green light. And what do we got? Where's the power switch? There it is. Touch with tomorrow. Yep. As I suspected, there is definitely a blue line there down the screen, but it's not too bad. 64 megabytes of memory. Not sure if that's just on board or if it's got a chip in it. An ex um, expansion memory. So everything looks okay. Of course, it's upset because it can't actually find a hard drive. So I'll have to find a hard drive for this. It looks like this one might be a winner. It's not in too bad a condition. This is just a basic little overview of the machine. It's not really a whole lot that's terrifically interesting to look at. does function, so it's good enough. Alright, so this isn't the only machine that I've got. Let's move on to the next one, and folks, this is not cool. Here's a slightly older one that is cosmetically in the best shape of them all. I mean, you can see it's still got scuffs and scrapes and dings and everything. This is a Toshiba Portage 7000 CT. This one isn't as good, it doesn't have the uh, slump blanks there, but it does at least have everything else intact. So you can see there, I might actually see if I could take that door off and put it onto the other one. Of course, there's a little USB port there, it's pretty much exactly the same system. Except I'd imagine it's got a slightly slower CPU. Modem is intact. But... I knew this before buying them, because, like I said, I was told that they all had display issues. This one's got a cracked display. And I don't remember which one exactly this was, but we're going to find out with the help of Nightshot. Oh yeah, look at that. So this is the one that has the completely dead screen. So, it's got a nice big crack running down it, and it, when I power it up, I'm pretty sure what I'm going to find is entirely white, if I can power it up. Come on. 
Oh, it's locked out. Come on, you piece of junk. Let me play with it a bit. Now, that's a very unnoticeable lock. So, we'll see what it does. It should just be a white screen. If it actually even works at all. Okay, that is not good. <laughs> yeah, it's not even coming on at all. So I wonder if we got a RAM issue. And I'm sure as you can hear, I just tried to turn the machine off. It's definitely got some kind of a problem. Well, that would certainly do it. Although I think, if I remember right, there is a slot underneath the keyboard, so maybe not so much. I'll see if I can dig up some uh, PC-100 here. Okay, I've gone ahead and installed this memory module here. So we'll see what the system does now. Although again, I suspect either total comatose or white screen. No, it's still totally comatose. Is anything happening? I almost wonder. I don't think anything is happening. That's something else. Don't worry about that. Huh. Interesting. That's totally dead. It didn't even give me a beep. Wow. So, uh, I guess I will not really be doing anything with this at all. It worked in the listing. Maybe it just doesn't like the memory. Okay, well, apparently it's, uh, it's got at least a semi-functional display now. system is still not really doing anything, though. So, I don't know what's going on there. So, we'll give it a try again. Oh, it's comatose again. So, it worked exactly once. So, I guess there's a problem with the memory module slogan on this. Okay, I gave up on trying to get that to work, because it didn't seem to really want to, no matter what memory module I put in it. Um, so, here's the last one of the bunch. As you can see, it is not pretty. This is a Toshiba Portage 7010 CT. But it's actually unlocked. Other than the top panel, it doesn't look too bad, really. The bottom here is kind of busted. And typical missing, uh, missing drive. So let's see if this one actually happens to work. So we'll plug that in. Hopefully it doesn't take out all the electrical. Again, the internal condition isn't too bad, but uh, if we switch on night shot, you'll see it immediately. Uh, I don't even really need to switch on night shot. Actually, you can't even see it with night shot. Unless I get it in the right angle, but, uh turn night shot off and you have a look, you can see it. Let's see what this one does. Yeah, it's a lot worse than what it was. Uh, in the picture, in the listing, this part of the display was still working. So, there's been a lot more breakage than uh, previously. I'm going to see if I can uh, hook this up to the external monitor. Actually, I could probably do that on video, if I can figure out where the cable is. The cable's right here. Let's see if we can connect this to the external VGA. Switch over to it. No. There we go. That's a pretty decent amount of installed memory. So, something's usable at least. 
but uh, this I'm afraid is really not not tenable. If this portion of the display still worked, I'd be okay with that. But uh, I mean, even still, I'm going to focus my efforts on the 7020 CT because that's the one that I care about the most. The rest of these are kind of just extras. So honestly, I think I'm going to call that game over for that machine as well. So thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And this is CP666 signing off. Hope to see you next time. Till then.